All right, with this uh, forecast video update on this Tuesday, March the 3rd, this is the evening edition. I'm Josh Brown. Well, I hope that uh, everyone had a wonderful Tuesday, and I have to say it's been somewhat nice across uh, central Florida, and the reason why I said somewhat is because we had warm temperatures today, and of course we saw some freezing conditions too. Uh, so yeah, it's been somewhat nice today. Uh, but some things are going to change as we head towards so the next couple of days. They'll be for both tomorrow and Thursday, followed by the system that's going to bring a chance for rain on late Thursday night into Friday. Uh, Friday, that's going to bring cooler temperatures over the weekend, which I'll talk more about that here in just a little bit. But let's take a look at our temperatures for highs that Central Florida did see earlier today. And uh, as you can see, the highs actually did approach uh, mostly some 80s here across central Florida earlier today. So, for example, the high temperature today here in Orlando got up to, got up to about uh, 83 degrees. Same thing for Kissimmee and Palm Coast. The highest uh, today was about 83. But for Ocala, look at the high temperature today. It only, it only got up into the lower 80s today, which is a little bit cooler, but still kind of warm. But look at this uh, over towards uh, the villages. The high temperatures did reach upper 80s this afternoon as well. So the high temperature was 87 degrees. Uh, 84 was the high temp today in Lakeland, and temperatures were a little bit cooler here towards Sanford. You see the high temperature got up to about uh, 76 degrees. It was 82 today in uh, Daytona Beach, and it was 80 for the high over towards uh, Titusville. So, yes, almost almost everybody uh, did hit 80s today all across the entire viewing, viewing area on this uh, first Tuesday of March. So let's take a look at the current temperatures next. And as you can see, it's still kind of warm out there right now, as you can see, but we're not in the 80s anymore, that's for sure. So, for example, we got uh, 78 right now here in Orlando. We got uh, 73 in Sanford. It is 74 right now in Titusville. We got 76 for both in Daytona Beach and Palm Coast. Same thing for the villages. The temperature currently is 70, is 76. We got uh, 73 in Sanford. We got 78 over in Kissimmee, 74 in Ocala. And we got uh, 75 degrees for the current temp down towards Lakeland and uh, Polk County, so a bit of a nice evening to be outdoors uh, uh, for the most part. So if you have any uh, evening plans for the rest of tonight, whether if you're going to be going out to see the fireworks shows, for example, at one of the attractions, or if you're, you're going to be going out to dinner or out to some after-school-related uh, events, you should be you should be fine. So, so just uh, keep that in mind, and of course, I don't anticipate any rain tonight as well. So just keep that on the note. But let's go ahead and take a look what's happening right now on the uh, current radar on this uh, Tuesday evening. Just give me just a second here. Let me turn off the temperatures here. And here it is. So here's the radar. And yes, we, we are looking nice and quiet all across central Florida as we're ending our Tuesday, uh, e at least our Tuesday, at least the first Tuesday of March. So uh, like I said, if you got plants going on this evening, then you should be fine. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Futurecast, because since we're going to be we're, since there'll be some rain in the forecast later this week, I'm going to show you the timing here and show you who's going to see rain and, who, and who's not as we approach uh, late Thursday night. So just give me just a second here to get this uh, load up. And uh, by the way, if you're just coming on into the Facebook live stream on this uh, first Tuesday evening of Mar Tuesday evening of March, again, don't forget to go ahead as always to uh, share this Facebook live feed to your other Facebook followers, because you know my motto: sharing is caring. All right, so heading towards the overnight hours, we'll be looking dry across Central Florida. Even the same thing as we head towards your Wednesday, uh, so we'll be looking dry all day. But it, but it's just the heat we'll be concerned we'll be concerned about as we head towards the next uh, couple of days there. But notice here on the future cast model, as you can see here up towards uh, Marion County, there could be just a few isolated one or two brief showers, but otherwise it shouldn't be too, nothing too major to worry about. So just keep that in mind. But again, the rest of our viewing area looking dry and hot as we head towards uh, tomorrow. We'll look at the highs or lows here for the next couple of days in just a second. So just hang tight for that. And then it looks like the isolated shower chances that will happen up towards Marion, Volusia, and Flacker counties will continue as we head towards the late afternoon into the early evening hours, but otherwise not looking too shabby. And then it looks like we'll be looking dry as we head towards uh, late tomorrow night into Thursday, at least Thursday morning for most of us, but except there could be some showers to wake up uh, that morning for those who live up in Marion County or parts of Flacker counties. But, for the, but like, like I said, for the most part, nothing too major to worry about as we get into the first half of the day of early Thursday across uh, central Florida. So the best chance of rain looks to be holding off as we head towards, again, late Thursday night. And again, here comes the uh, here, come, here comes the storms right there, as you can see on Featurecast. As we, so as we approach 8 or 9 o'clock, uh, that's when it looks like uh, Daytona Beach, Palm Coast, maybe maybe Ocala, 
Paisley and the villages will see a good chance of showers and even a couple of uh, thunderstorms as we head towards that uh, uh, time frame. And they'll move from a northwesterly to a southeasterly direction ahead of this uh, cold front. So just uh, keep that in mind there. And there is a risk of severe weather for late Thursday night, which we'll look at that here in just a second, too. Uh, but we're not expecting a widespread severe weather outbreak uh, with, with this uh, system. So just keep that in mind. And then as we continue on towards uh, late Thursday night and early Friday, we'll see the storms uh, c uh, continue to push to the southeast, moving in towards uh, Orlando by 11. Same thing for Sanford into uh, Edgewater and New Smyrna Beach. But it looks like once the storms do get closer to the metro and near the attractions, they, they might be weakening just a little bit. So I don't anticipate any severe weather here for the Orlando metro. Again, a little bit of a good chance for marginal threat for severe storms will be just in the north of the Orlando metro. Again, you're going to see the risk here in just a second. And then as we end the clock all the way towards uh, 1 a.m. early Friday, which is still late Thursday night, the storms will push off towards the uh, the southeast into Brevard and Osceola County, Lee with just a few leftover showers across parts of Orange County, including Orlando. So there you have it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look and see how much rain Central Florida could pick up with these uh, storms as we head towards the next uh, uh, couple of days, especially with a big, at least with a big chance of rain coming in late Thursday night. So just give me just a second here. And again, this will carry all the way through early Friday morning as we as we end the first full work week of March. And it looks like some areas could pick up somewhere between, we'll say, about a quarter to maybe a half inch of rain, especially in the light blue shade areas, included, which includes here and Orlando, Sanford, Ocala, and the villages. But notice here in the green shaded colors up towards Daytona Beach and Palm Coast, it looks like uh, you folks could see between about three quarters to maybe some isolated spots, maybe up to an inch of rain possibly for you folks as well as we head towards uh uh, late Thursday night once the uh, line of storms do roll in. So just keep that uh, in mind, as always. So so just be aware. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, the severe weather outlook for uh, late Thursday night. Just give me just a second here. And it'll, it'll be day three here, so just, just want to let you know about that. And here it is. So as you can see, the SPC has actually put a marginal risk of isolated strong to severe storms as we head towards uh, Thursday night, basically for areas like uh, Palm Coast into, we'll say, the northwestern corner of Volusia County near Lake George into Ocala and the villages. Well, close to the villages, but still close to part of the city, the, city, the city limits there. And also for Wildwood in northeastern Sumter County, it looks like you folks will be under that dark green shaded area. So again, that means that there is a marginal threat for isolated strong to severe storms as we head towards uh, Thursday night. So just keep that in mind. So with the threats with the, within, in, in that marginal risk zone for severe weather Thursday night, there could be potential for some gusty winds between about 40 to 45 miles per hour. Could be a little bit of some smaller hail, lightning, maybe some brief heavy downpours, and especially in that marginal risk, risk ugh, I'm talking too fast here, in that marginal risk zone, I cannot rule out maybe a brief isolated uh, tornado possibly, but still looking at the, looking, to be in, looking to be in the low category, so just keep that in mind. But notice in the yellow shaded areas up here farther north of central Florida from Gainesville into uh, Jacksonville, Tallahassee into southern Georgia, that is what we call it a slight risk of severe weather we're expecting maybe an isolated tornado threat uh, up there. So just uh, keep that in mind. And again, this is the same system that brought the devastating tornadoes last night up in uh, uh, Tennessee, which includes Nashville, but uh, which has been really a total devastation, at least for the folks in the, in the city of Nashville, you know, late last night. And the weather service, I believe, I believe the weather service in Nashville just confirmed uh, that in the metro area and towards the east of town, uh, that it was rated as an EF3 uh, tornado. So yeah, that's that, again, there's been some, it's been hit pretty hard last night, and and that's why that uh, you know it, you know, they tore down ho uh, homes, businesses, and trees and power lines, and of course, unfortunately, that killed 25 people. So I mean, I'm just really heartbroken for my uh, childhood home state of Tennessee, but of course for Nashville, that it was been that it got hit pretty hard uh, late last night by that devastating e devastating EF3 uh, tornado. So, so I'm keeping, keeping those thoughts and prayers to all the victims that uh, lost their lives, at least to the families that lost their loved ones, and of course, for the people that lost their homes, and also the businesses. So, so, so it's been pretty, a pretty rough, uh, not just a rough night, but a rough day for all Tennesseans, including, again, Nashville, that saw the worst uh, damage from the tornado uh, just after midnight, uh, late last night. So, yeah. 
All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the temperature part on Futurecast. That's the next thing we're going to take a look uh, at as the next thing. So just give me just a second here. Let me, uh, go, let me turn on the temperature part on Futurecast. Let me pinpoint the temperatures again. And remember, guys, if you're just uh, coming on into the Facebook live stream on this uh, Tuesday night, don't forget to go ahead, as always, to uh, share this live feed to your other Facebook followers, because remember, the motto is sharing is caring. And if you're also just, if you're also just popping on into the Facebook live stream as well, uh, and again, if you didn't see the temperatures earlier currently, we are mostly in the 70s right now across the viewing area. So if we have any big plans uh, for the rest of tonight, again, go out and have some fun uh, outdoors, at least in the at least as we're in the dark hours. So just saying. All right. So here's feature cast, at least the temperature part of feature cast here. And as we take a look. Uh, towards the overnight hours, we're expecting lows to uh, be in the uh, 60s here for the next uh, several hours. So if you're so so if you're going to be going out for maybe an early morning run or go out for maybe uh, to play some a little bit at least to play some golf before you start the day, it looks like we'll see temperatures uh, again not too bad but mild with temperatures again in the mid to upper 60s to start off our Wednesday. But otherwise, it should be looking uh, at least pretty good for the morning commute if you're heading to work and school. You know that early if you have to leave the house around 6 a.m. So looking good. Uh, for tomorrow morning, we'll see a good sunny start uh, to the day here in uh, Central Florida. And then as we head towards uh, the rest of your Wednesday here, as we head towards the afternoon, that's when, that's when we'll see our temperatures heat things up pretty quick. So this is 3 o'clock tomorrow. We're expecting these temperatures to rise into the mid to possibly upper 80s across the entire viewing area. And again, there's a, there's a possibility we could see some potential records uh, as well. So that's something we'll be tracking uh, closely as we head towards tomorrow and Thursday. So just keep that in mind. So, for example, on Futurecast, it does want to show a high temperature tomorrow at about 85 in Orlando. Same thing for Kissimmee and Titusville. And look at the high temperature tomorrow in Lakeland. It could get up around 86 degrees, maybe a little higher than that. We'll have to watch that carefully, too. And then Sanford will see a high temperature tomorrow at about 84. Same story for you guys up in the villages. And a little cooler up towards uh, Ocala and Marion County, but still warmer as we head towards Wednesday with temperatures in the upper 70s into the lower 80s. And they'll be low 80s, too, here for Daytona Beach and Palm Coast. So if you're expecting to be outdoors all day tomorrow, whether if you're expecting to be going out to the attractions or planning on going to the beach, please put plenty of sunscreen on you because it says there's going to be a lot of sunshine out. You know, you, didn't want, you, you do not want to get yourself uh, sunburned, so just keep that in mind. So I so just want to give you guys a heads up. And please be sure that, that you drink plenty of water in order to keep yourselves hydrated. And, of course, be sure you try to take breaks by finding some cooler, shady spots if you can out in the heat as we head towards uh, Wednesday. So that's that. So, uh, so all right, uh, heading towards uh, tomorrow evening, once the sun goes down, we'll see temperatures cool off a little bit, but still staying kind of mild with uh, temperatures, especially to the northwest of Orlando into the upper 60s, and then the rest of our viewing area in the 70s. So not looking too bad for outdoor planning events. So if you have to uh, be outdoors tomorrow night, whether if you're going to be, whether be, whether if you're gonna be going out to uh, see the Fireworks at the attractions, or if you or if you're going to be going out to dinner, or whatever you got going on. Again, still kind of mild, be still a little humid, but otherwise it should be cooling off just a bit once the sun goes down as we head towards uh, uh, dark time tomorrow night. And then it looks like as we head towards uh, late Wednesday to early Thursday, we'll start off the day uh, into the mid to upper 60s to about 70 here across Central Florida. So still pretty mild, like we're going to see early tomorrow morning. So just keep that in mind. And then as we head towards Thursday. Before the big storms do roll in, which will be late that night, we'll see temperatures once again heat things up into the mid to upper 80s. So, for example, we could see a high temperature on Thursday at about 84 here and around um, Orlando. Same thing for Sanford, Kissimmee. 80, 80, uh, excuse me, 83 will be the high temperature on Thursday for Lakeland, 85 for uh, Titusville, 81 for the Villages. Could see a high temperature Thursday at about 84 for Daytona Beach, 81 for Palm Coast, and a little cooler up in Ocala with temperatures in the upper 70s into the lower 80s. So same thing like tomorrow. If you have to be outdoors on Thursday, you know, planning on going to the beach or going to have some fun at the attractions, again, be sure you take it easy out in the hot weather. You know, by, put, by putting plenty of sunscreen on you, by drinking a lot of water, you know, to keep yourself hydrated, and of course, be sure that you find some cooler, shady spots if you can. So just uh, keep that keep that in mind. And it looks like uh, it looks like the cold front should be pushing towards Central Florida as we head towards uh, late 
uh, Thursday night into early Friday behind these storms here. And as you can see, these temperatures will start to cool off behind the front down into the 60s into the 50s across the entire uh, viewing area. So uh, there you have it. So if you're looking forward to some cooler weather, well, it's coming as we head towards uh, the weekend, which we're going to look at the weekend forecast now on the GFS. So just hang tight. And here's the last check of the radar before we, before we take a look at the GFS. If you didn't, if you didn't, if you didn't get to see it earlier at the, beginning of the, at the beginning of this feed, well, here it is right now again. Again, we are looking pretty quiet, so no rain is expected here for, again, for the rest of tonight here in Central Florida or the next couple of days, except for late Thursday night. So there you have it. All right, so let's get to uh, Friday's forecast, especially, in the, especially the second half of the day after the storms do move out of here. We will see uh, some sunshine uh, by the second half of the day on Friday once the storms do move on towards the south and east of our view viewing area. And as we take a look with the uh, high temperatures uh, down below, we'll be looking much cooler. So we, so we transition from 80s, which is warmer temperatures, back to the upper 60s and low 70s as we head towards uh, that day. So if you got some uh, outdoor plants going on on Friday, it should be a pretty good day to do that. So if you plan on going to the attractions or plan on going to do... Uh, some outdoor-related fun stuff besides school and work, then I think you'll like the cooler temperatures once we head towards uh, that day because it will not be as warm, it will not be as humid like we'll be seeing tomorrow and Thursday. So, so cooler lovers, it's on the way. The cooler weather is what I'm talking about there, so, so just keep that in mind. All right, heading towards uh, the weekend, beginning with uh, Saturday, it looks like we'll see the energy push out of here, and we'll bring us, they'll bring us some sunshine across central Florida, so looking good for your Saturday, at least the first Saturday, Saturday of March for outdoor plants, but except our temperatures will be not really warming up that much. Again, it's still going to be okay, at least for outdoor plants, but it's just going to be still a bit cooler, so we're going to cool down a little more into the mid-60s as we head towards uh, Saturday, so you may want to have some jackets uh, uh, bundled handy if you got any outdoor plants then, but again, otherwise it should be lo should be looking uh, looking okay as far as sunny weather goes. But it'll just be the temperatures to be feeling a little different, so just keep that in mind. But but again, not too bad. All right, heading towards uh, Sunday, the second half of the first full weekend of March. We're expecting, again, the weather, the weather to stay dry in uh, central Florida. But notice here on the GFS, there could be a few isolated coastal showers over towards the I-95 corridor from Volusia into Brevard counties. But otherwise, it should, it should be looking okay as far as the weather goes that day with plenty of uh, sunshine. So if you got outdoor plants thin, you'll be good to go. But as, as far as high temps go for Sunday... We'll start to warm back slightly to average, but still staying a little bit cooler. But at least we'll not be as big, like not as cool like we're going to see on Saturday. So Sunday looks to be a bit better with temperatures rising back slightly into the upper 60s and into the lower 70s. So same thing if you got any outdoor plants that day, you should be fine because you know it should be it should be some good weather. So there you go. All right, heading, heading into a week from yesterday. This is for uh, Monday the 9th. It looks like we'll see, again, almost all of us staying dry with mostly, with mostly sunny skies. But notice on the GFS, there could be a few isolated pop-up coastal showers. Once again, about a 20% chance from the I-95 corridor from Volusia to Flagler into Brevard counties. Could be some down in Osceola County, too, but otherwise looking partly to mostly sunny. As we head towards uh, Mondays, we kick off the new work week. And as we uh, look at the uh, high temperatures uh, down below... For Monday, we'll start to get back to average for everybody across the viewing area. We'll see highs get back into the uh, mid 70s. So some good weather could be some good outdoor weather and beach weather. If you do have, if you're planning on doing some of that as we head towards uh, Monday, so uh, so there you go. All right, getting in, let's get into a week from today here. This is for next Tuesday, the 10th of March. We're expecting, again, the same thing, just a few isolated uh, showers across central Florida, but it's not going to rain all day, so we'll get about a 20 to a 30% coverage, but we'll be looking partly sunny otherwise as we head towards uh, a week from today, if this is correct, which I think it will be. And as we uh, look with the uh, high temperatures for Tuesday, 
We'll see temperatures warm things up but slightly, slightly back to above average with highs in the upper 70s and possibly back into the lower 80s. So still not too bad as far as the weather goes here for the Sunshine State. So if we got out to our plans then, then there you go. All right, heading into a week from tomorrow, midweek next week, which is the 11th. We're expecting, again, the same thing like we're going to see next Tuesday, just a few isolated uh, pop-up showers across portions of our viewing area. It could be someone around Orlando, but otherwise looking mostly, to, well, at least partly to mostly sunny otherwise as we head towards uh, that day. And our high temperatures uh, down below will be looking a little more warmer with temperatures not just in the upper 70s, but some low 80s as well, including maybe possibly here around Orlando as we head towards uh, that day. So, again, some good-looking weather as we head towards uh, not just this weekend, but even into next week. So, there you go. At least we could, it'll be some good weather for spring breakers, too, for those, for those maybe coming down to Florida next week. All right, let's get into uh, next Thursday, March 12th. Uh, we're expecting almost all of us to stay dry across central Florida, but again, a couple of uh, one or two brief showers are possible, but otherwise nothing too big to worry about. But looks like the best chance of rain will stay up, up over towards the north and west of our state. As you can see across parts of Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi, there'll be a good chance for some showers and maybe even a couple of thunderstorms to possibly as we head towards a week from this Thursday. So that's something to we'll watch. But ahead of that, again, we'll be looking mostly dry otherwise here in central Florida. So good looking outdoor weather for that day. Since it'll be dry for almost all of us and high temperatures below. We'll be uh, looking a little more warmer with temperatures in the lower to perhaps even going back into the mid 80s as we head as we head into uh, that day. So, so, so there you go. All right, now heading into uh, next Friday, March 13th, we're expecting all, at least pretty much all of us staying dry across Central Florida. So looking at plenty of sunshine, so the good chance of rain that will happen. Next Friday for now, we'll stay farther up north into uh, the northern portions of Florida, into parts of uh, Georgia. So at least we'll be seeing, at least we'll be we'll be out of the rain as we head towards uh, that day. So if we got big plans going on, if that is correct, maybe you'll enjoy the <clears throat> nice dry weather as we head towards that day. And as we uh, take a look at the high temperatures uh, down below, we'll be turning much much warmer again as we head towards uh, the 13th as we get back into the mid to perhaps even upper 80s like we're going to see tomorrow and Thursday. But this is for Friday though of next week. So, yes, the warm temperatures could make a comeback as we head towards that day. But notice these temperatures up here across parts of Georgia and South Carolina because of the rain that will happen uh, that day, if that's correct. That's going to bring temperatures a whole lot cooler from 50s to 60s as we head towards that day. So, But, again, for us, we'll be much warmer than average as we head towards uh, March 13th. It's not this Friday, but the week from this Friday. All right, heading into the real pure land of voodoo country. This is, this is for um, Saturday, March 14th. We're expecting, yet again, the weather to stay dry across central Florida. But notice here on the GFS, there could be maybe a brief shower across parts of Osceola and Brevard counties, but otherwise looking dry for pretty much almost all of us as we hit towards that day. And as we uh, check with our high temperatures below, we'll be still looking warm with high temperatures in the low to mid 80s. So some good beach weather that day, at least for spring breakers that are coming down to the Sunshine State, not just next week, but next weekend. So, so looking good there, if that is correct. And uh, checking into uh, Sunday the 15th, we're expecting, again, almost all of us to stay dry across central Florida. But notice here on the GFS, there could be a few isolated pop-up showers here, basically just south and east of Orlando, but otherwise not a big rainmaker to worry about as we head towards that day. So, so looking good for the most part. And as we check with the high temperatures below, it looks like another cold front may try to uh, slide down to central Florida. If this is correct, ahead of those isolated showers, it looks like we'll see temperatures cool down from 80s back down into the upper 60s and low to mid 70s as we head towards that day. So, so if you again, if you're a big fan of cooler weather, it's not just this weekend, but we could see that again maybe during the second half of next weekend, if that is correct. But again, we're in the land of voodoo country, so it's kind of too early to tell if this will happen. So you may never know. It could change as we get closer, so just keep that in mind. All right, checking into two weeks from yesterday. This is for Monday, March the 16th. We're expecting more of the same, just a few isolated pop-up showers behind the uh, second front, if this is correct there, but otherwise looking partly sunny 
for uh, Central Florida. And as we check with the uh, high temperatures down below, uh, looking again, uh, not as warm, not as hot. We'll be, we'll be seeing temperatures back to average with highs in the mid to upper 70s, maybe around 80 degrees possible, but still not too bad as we head towards uh, that day. So, uh, so there you go. Now, heading into uh, two weeks from today, this is for uh, Tuesday, the 17th of March. We're expecting almost all of us to stay dry across central Florida, but I cannot rule out maybe a brief coastal shower from Brevard or Flagler counties, but otherwise nothing too big to worry about. And uh, temperatures for highs below, looking to warm back up slightly above average, but still not too bad, with highs in the upper 70s into the lower 80s, so not as extremely warm uh, for, as we approach two weeks from today, if this is correct, but we'll see. Because we're in the land of voodoo, voodoo country, so you may never know that could change as we get uh, closer. So just keep that keep that in mind. And heading into two weeks from tomorrow, Wednesday the 18th of March. All of us looking dry across central Florida with lots of sunshine, so looking great there. And uh, high temperatures below. Uh, turning a little more warmer with temperatures getting back into the 80s for everybody across the entire viewing area. Not just low, but maybe even mid-80s as well. And as we wrap up this forecast for tonight, we're going to end with uh, Thursday the 19th. Again, mostly dry for central Florida, but notice that an approaching uh, storm system could try to uh, develop across parts of the northwestern portions of at least of our state. From Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi, where there could bring maybe a good chance for some showers and maybe even, if not, a few thunderstorms uh, for that for those areas ahead of the uh, system. Again, before it moves in, maybe we'll say Friday the 20th, which we don't have the forecast right now, but maybe we'll check that tomorrow night or maybe during the day tomorrow, at least tomorrow morning when I do the next update. But otherwise, we'll be looking dry here in the Sunshine State and uh, high temperatures before I wrap up this video uh, tonight down below. Still warm with highs in the lower to mid 80s there, but notice there, there may be another cold front. This could be a potential of front number three that could try to uh, uh, push from northwest to the southeast ahead of that, uh, at least behind the system. That's going to bring maybe a few showers and storms, and that could push into Florida too, maybe as we head towards uh, the following weekend. So that's something, again, we'll have to watch uh, carefully, but too early, too early to tell if this will happen, but you just may never know. It could change as we get uh, closer. So just keep that in mind here, guys, as always. All right, gang, I'm going to start wrapping up this uh, Facebook Live feed on this Tuesday night. So that's it for the uh, forecast video update. And I expect to have the next video posted here first thing tomorrow morning. Yes, I'll do the morning edition of the forecast video update uh, tomorrow morning for real because I got other plans. I got some plans for tomorrow. So I'll do the video probably live on Facebook between 7 or 7.30. So between those times, I'll be on uh, to do the morning update on Central Florida's weather. So I hope you guys can join me bright and early. But uh, for the most part, I'll continue to post more notes or updates on my blog and Facebook page, Facebook pages, excuse me, 24-7. Uh, but in the meantime, hope you enjoy the rest of your Tuesday night, and I'll see you all again bright and early tomorrow morning for the next edition of the Facebook Live weather update right here in Central Florida. Anyways, you guys take care, and uh, have a good evening, and uh, God bless.